In this module, we're going to talk about how to incorporate sound reinforcement for this particular project. So far, it's been more of a just a conferencing room where the handheld lavalier and the beamforming mic were all going out to USB and VoIP, which is fine. But what if you wanted to utilize this handheld to also be used for sound reinforcement in the room? So I could hear, everybody could hear my handheld as I speak in that same room. So I briefly talked about this when we got into matrix view in an earlier module, but this is where you would just create a pre-AEC cross point. That is a purple cross point because now I don't care about echo cancellation into the ceiling there. I just want to just send it straight to it and bypass that processing. When we do that, it's only a one millisecond latency. So it's more real time. You're hear hearing exactly what I'm speaking through those speakers. But at the same time, the handheld could still be used for conferencing as well. So that works out fine. So you can do it this way. Or if you wanted to utilize processing of some type, like say processing block, and a processing block would maybe have, in this case, I want to use it for feedback elimination. So in some cases, you may, these mobile mics like this could be walking around and they walk under a ceiling speaker that's a little too loud and they start to get feedback. So you maybe want to make sure you don't get that. So what I'd have to do is add a resource. So if we remember in room A here, we had all resources from this basic project. Now we can go add a processing block. And we have eight per mixer. So I could bring one of those into this particular one. So I got a processing block now in room A. I could rename it if I wanted to. Uh, right now I'm just going to leave it as is, but I could maybe call this feedback elimination for handheld or whatever you want it to be. But I could, uh, just going to keep this kind of simple for now. But in matrix view, notice what we had earlier. We just said handheld to ceiling speakers. That's fine. You can do it that way. But if you want to incorporate the feedback eliminator that's on the processing block, and this is the feedback eliminator, I'll show this in a separate module on how to incorporate this live because you would enable it, but then you'd have to say which mic you want to work with. So this information will show up when you start to uh, connect live with a mixer. But for this particular purpose, I'll just say, yeah, I'm going to enable it, but we'll have to do that more live when we connect to a mixer. So I'm going to just reduce that down. That's the properties of the uh, processing block. So here's my handheld. So instead of going straight to the speakers, notice how this flow goes now. I'm going to go from the handheld to the processing block. And I will just still keep this in real time. So I will go ahead and make that a cross point of a uh, purple so I can keep it in real time, one millisecond latency. But now it's going to go through the processing block, out of the processing block, and into the speakers. So you notice how the flow goes up, around, to the speakers. So if it doesn't make sense to you in this application, you can see it maybe a little bit easier in flow view. So notice here I have the processing block is here at the bottom. I can actually bring this up and now you will see as the handheld now is going not only to USB and VoIP, but it's also going through the processing block and then to the speakers. So that way you can kind of get an idea how that flow would work. So that gives you an idea of how to incorporate not only just sound reinforcement for a room and which mic or mics that you want to use for that, but also how to incorporate a processing block.